What's crack a lacking dudes and dudettes? It's Ness, and you're watching NES Collectibles. Welcome to the channel. If it's your first time here, I do a whole bunch of different TCG content, but primarily it's mostly One Piece TCG. Uh, love this game, been playing it for a long time. Um, and today we need to talk about how the uh, starter deck for the Ultra deck differs from the other starter decks. Um, so one of the things that you guys already probably noticed is the price tag. Um, I was able to pick mine up for 30 bucks. This is a uh, premium product for sure. Um, so one of the things that's kind of nice, it does come with a deck box. The deck box is nice. It's uh, kind of plastic. It's it's going to hold up a little bit better. It's got the Velcro right here. Um, it's got the art for all three of the captains on it, uh, which is pretty sweet and does have the divider with all the captains on it as well. Um, the other thing that this deck comes with that's a little bit different is it comes with three instead of two leaders. Um, so that is pretty neat. Um, it, they are all in the same color combination, so the deck can be run with any of them. Uh, other starter decks only have one. Um, and you can kind of see that that's part of the difference in the cost here is normal starter decks, if you can pick them up at MSRP, are $11.99, um, whereas we're pushing, you know, we're, we're th at 30 bucks. So um, that's where a lot of this comes in. Um, you can see that these are all getting a texture treatment. Um, so they are text uh, textured, which is fantastic. I love the way that these look. Um, very much like the alt arts from the sets. You've got Luffy there with his sweet conquers hockey happening. Um, very, very cool with the black lightning. And then we've got Captain Kidd. Very, very nice. Um, then one of the things that this deck did that none of the other decks do is the whole deck is in foil. Um, so you are going to be able to have your whole deck foiled out if you just keep the deck the same, um, which is pretty darn neat. Uh, this is something they haven't done with any other uh, items yet, so that's pretty cool. They didn't just go to foiling the deck, they also foiled all of the Dawn, which is awesome. Uh, I love that they did this. Um, just regular, normal Dawn, but... Uh, Got that nice rainbow foil treatment. So love to have something a little bit shiny there. Uh, these decks also feature some reprints, which is something that uh, a lot of the sets haven't done before um, for the starter deck. So we've got the Rush Zoro from OP01 with brand new fancy artwork, which I love. This is a super rare. Um, so, you know, these cards were very high at one point. They were pushing 30 bucks a piece at one time. Uh, now I think they're, we're down to about $10. And with this reprint, you get four of them. So the price will go drastically down, which is good. Um, but uh, I like this art better than the one that came from original OP01. Not necessarily the alt art. The alt art was beautiful, but I love that art. Um, then uh, we got the Nami, which is a rare from OP01, but she's also got the texture treatment as you can see there uh, with the foiling, which is so freaking cool. Like, I love that they put so much effort and energy into making all of this look so good. Um, so one thing that this set did that was different from the other starter decks, we have three super rares um, in this starter deck instead of two. So... That's kind of nice, and you do get two copies of them, just like the other one, so you will have to buy two copies if you want a full playset. But we've got the Luffy. We've got the Law. And just getting to enjoy that foiling, man. The textures are great. It looks fantastic. And then we've got the Kid. Which, again, these are so pretty. I love that I get to show these off to y'all. Um, I really enjoy them. They're very, very playable. Um, all three of these cards are gonna are gonna definitely see play. They're they're good, um, and they're going to be definitely messing with the meta. 
So I hope you guys are ready for this because this is even going to continue into OPO5. This is a very strong deck. Um, it, you know, with the ultimate deck, they wanted you to be able to come in and play at a tournament and have a shot. Like, are you going to be top tier, S tier craziness? Probably not, but you will be up there and you will be able to win. Um, and these cards are good. So uh, I love being able to see this. I love these new products. We're going to be getting the next ultra deck, which will be the three brothers deck, which is going to be Luffy, Sabo and Ace. And that is supposed to be, I believe, in yellow and blue. Um, so that should be a lot of fun. I'm really excited for that one as well. Hopefully we'll get some variants on the Dawn and they'll not just be regular Dawn. Maybe they'll be colored Dawn or they'll have some sort of symbols or something on them. I think that would be nice to like make every Ultra deck uh, special in that way. But I love that we're getting a deck box. I love that we're getting the cards. It feels like they gave a lot of love to the cards. They didn't shy away from giving us a number of good super rares for this deck. And that is something that I think is very commendable when you create a product to let people get into the game and get really, really play. So um, hopefully that answered some of your questions about the differences between the ultra decks and the starter decks and which ones, you know, more worth picking up for you. Uh, and, and really kind of hope, you know, this video gives you that, gives you that oomph to say, okay, I know which one I want now. So uh, we're getting really close to 300 subs. Uh, for the channel. So if you like the video, do the thing and don't forget, sail on. And yes.